Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to take a look at MBS or minimum blank size calculations. One of the most frequent emails I get from people uh, is asking for clarification on how you work or how you get the answer to an MBS or minimum blank size question. So let's hit the whiteboard and let me see if I can't help you visualize and better understand where those numbers come from and how you solve those questions. Now, what does MBS even mean? All right, remember super lens? If I pulled out super lens and I tried to fill this job, a stock job, let's just say it was a minus 250, I went over to the shelf, I pulled it out, opened up the envelope, took my lens out, and I had no decentration at all. I just was going right for the middle frame PD64, PD64 human, and I tried to put my lens OC dot right there in the middle. I'm not gonna get cut out. This lens blank, this minimum blank size, is too small. I have holes. I have gaps. If I tried to cut this out, it wouldn't work. A modern edger will kick it out. I'd have giant gaps if I forced it. So I had to create super, super lens. If I was dead on center, 64 frame PD, 64 human PD, looking pretty good. If I needed to decenter a little bit, I could move it over a millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeters, five millimeters, and I'm just starting to get some gap here. That's as far as I could go. If I needed to decenter this lens even more, I would need an even larger blank. To determine how large a blank I would need if I needed to decenter it way over here somewhere, I can use this and have a pretty darn good idea. I believe that there are two reasons why I get a lot of questions about MBS or minimum blank size. One is there are just plain some garbage formulas out there on some other websites and some social media spots. So I really can't do anything about that. People send me some of these things that are just plain nuts. I'm using the formula or the calculation for MBS as an ED plus two times decentration plus two. That is from the optical formulas tutorial book. I don't think there's really a better source for that kind of information. The other reason I think that a lot of people have trouble with MBS or minimum blank size is that it's not really a formula. This plus two is a rule of thumb. It's a good idea. It's a suggestion. You could make it one, you could make it three. The only way to know for certain would be to actually put a lens into an edger, run it and see if it's actually gonna work. <laughs> Let me explain why this is arbitrary or uncertain or an unknown. Why it could be one or three or some other number. This, even though you're using an ED and you're using the longest two times the longest radius within the eye wire opening. This does not know what the frame shape is. All right, if I take this, as I just showed you, I can only move it a couple of millimeters and I've got gaps here and here. But this frame shape is different. I have the, the cuts here, here, here. It reduces the overall size. It would lessen that longest radius that determines our ED. This one, I can move, 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 move it, move it, move it, all the way over to there before I'm gonna start getting a gap. So that is why it's a little bit arbitrary. You can never tell because you're never certain of your frame shape. That's where that comes from. Let me show you what it looks like in the edger. And I'm sure most of you are even are, are probably already familiar with this, but you see that little feeler arm come out and it traces the exact size and shape of the frame that you're trying to cut the lens to fit. And the minute that that feeler drops off the edge of the lens anywhere and makes that horrible clickety sound, uh, which you will become very familiar with, um, it means it's not going to cut out. So you must either pick a larger stock 
lens blank or have the job surfaced with a larger blank. If you're gonna have the job surfaced, then you're going to send to the lab your patient PD, your frame PD, your A, your DBL, all the information necessary, they're gonna plug it into the computer and the computer is going to tell them what size lens blank they're going to need to pull in order to make the lens for you. When it arrives, you put it into the edger, it's most likely going to cut out for you. Another thing that people get wrong is it's two times decentration per eye, and that of course can be different. Now, let's just do a couple examples of working this through, and you'll remember where ED comes from, it is two times the longest radius that you can find within the eye wire opening. I'm not gonna demonstrate that here, that's on the Optician Works website, and on the video called The Boxing System. This is an extremely realistic MBS problem. It's easily something that you would find exactly step-by-step step for any practical exam that you might need to take. This is not the place to teach you how to do finishing work or layout or determine decentration. You should know all that stuff, or if you don't, there's plenty of it on the Optician Works website. There's an entire section on finishing, and don't forget the other video on the boxing system as well. If I have an A of 53, a DBL of 15, an ED of 55, and a monocular PD of 3032, my A and my DBL together give me my frame PD. My frame PD would be 68. Because it's a monocular PD, I divide that by two, and I have 3434. My patient PD in my right is 30. 34 minus 30 gives me four millimeters of decentration. I'm gonna move my lens OC over four millimeters so that it's in front of the wearer's eye in the right place. For my left, I've got 68 divided by two. 34, 34 minus 32 gives me two millimeters of decentration on the left. I'm gonna move my OC over two millimeters to be in front of their eye in the right place. My formula for MDS, which I just showed you, is ED plus two times the decentration amount plus two. So for my right eye, I've got my ED of 55, two times my decentration of four, which is eight, and my two. So 55 plus eight plus two would mean that I need a blank 65 millimeters wide, 65 millimeters across, in order to get the cutout I needed for this particular frame in this particular wearer. For my left, I've got my ED of 55 plus four. Where did the four come from? Two times two, the millimeters of decentration for the left eye, plus two gives me a lens blank size of 61. Why is this one less than this one? Because decentration in the left eye is less than the decentration in the right eye. That lens physically has to move less, hence less chance of it be creating a gap along the edge of the eye wire opening. So this is the correct formula or calculation for determining MBS. Again, it is not a perfect mathematical construct. It is simply a ballpark or a really good rule of thumb. So hopefully that helps you out with MBS. I will see you again next week. Thanks for stopping by.